We've been talking about curtains and blinds and um, we could talk forever about them. However, one of the most important areas of a curtain is how are you going to fix that curtain to the ceiling or the wall, okay? And it's an area that is fraught with um, misinformation and, um, you know, there, there seems to be so much out there from different prices, from very cheap to very expensive. And so I thought, why don't I just talk to you about what is easily available here in Sydney? Um, I'm going to start off at tracks and work my way through to poles and talk about the different um, uh, the different things that you can have made or that are available easily and then I'll take it from there. So uh, welcome to Chrissy's talk about um, hardware as we call it in the trade. So you want a pair of curtains on a window and you're thinking how am I going to get them there? Well um, Yes, you could nail them up, but they're not going to be very good. You can't open them, you can't close them. So you need, what you would need in the very beginning is a track. So I'm going to show you a few tracks here. Now, our most common track we use when we're attaching it to the ceiling, and that means it's not being hidden, but it's going straight onto the ceiling. And you can only do that if you have square set ceilings. You can't put this track in front of a cornice. Um, one of my clients tried and it brought the cornice and the part of the ceiling down. So only if you have square set ceilings and if it's a very wide window and um, it's worth checking with the builder or someone to see that there has been something put up there, especially if you're going to be hanging a lot of curtaining to support the track. So this is the track we have in the shop. You can see it on display. It's called a D track. It has a D profile. So when it goes on the ceiling, it's very clean. It doesn't have a square edge. Now, they can be bent to go round the corners. However, that is a professional bend. So it can't be done at home on site. You need a special machine to do that. Um, great for wall to wall. It sits up high. And then underneath, you can see here, these are the glides. So track glides. Now, if you want to make that a curtain one you want to pull that with a um, to have a cord control that means you open and close by using a cord now cords are good if you've got very heavy curtains um, or you just don't want to touch the curtains say they're silk or something very precious but they're not good for pulling one side out and having one side back cords open and they close together they don't necessarily stack well they are often in a deeper track because they have to hold the cord um, is housed above the glides. These are the glides here. So it's a much deeper, squarer track. So there's a, a cord size track. And then there is just a square set track that can be easily bent. And tracks can come in many different colours. They can come in white, silver, black. They also can come in brown. And you can, if you have the time, have tracks powder coated any colour you want in Australia. You just need to ask. Someone will do it for you. But it will take time. It can take up to six weeks. Okay? So there is our talk on tracks. The next talk is about headings on tracks. Now, I spoke to you about S-waves and stacking of S-waves. And they do. They stack unbelievably well. Um, approximately... 30 centimetres stack for every metre. A normal curtain could be between 45 and 60 centimetres stack for a metre. So, you know, you can see how an S-Wave is a wonderful track. Now, S-Waves come in different headings, but they always come with the track and they come as either a snap system and you sew one side of the tape to the curtain heading and the other one is on the track. Or... The latest one is this one. This is the newest system that everyone's after. And it is a clear tape that gets stitched on. And then what happens is it just hooks through the existing little glides, which are set. They've got spacing. That means they're set. They can't open and close. They're on a set spacing, unlike 
for example, here, these glides can have, have no spaces, so they can just free flow. And this is what we would hang a gathered headed curtain or a French pleat curtain or one of those curtains because the heading of the curtain sets the, the width that the, the glides will sit apart, where with this system, the glide sets the distance apart. So it's a, it's a back to front system. Um, very popular, very clean, very easy. If you're a bit of a home sewer and you want something that's easy to do, this is the system for you to buy. Um, you can order it through us. You just come into the store, choose which one you want. It is hard. I don't know if I've ever seen them in Bunnings or, um, or Ikea or any of those places, but they're definitely our suppliers sell them and we can easily get them for you. Okay, now moving on. So if you're not going to use a track, then you're most probably thinking about using a pole to hang your curtains. And we've got two poles up there. We've got a traditional pole uh, bracket with rings and then we've got behind that a, a pole that looks like a pole but actually has a track system attached. So let's talk about the pole that looks like a pole but is actually a track system. And that's this system here. Um, it's, it's a half a pole. It glides back and forth. It looks like a pole attached to the ceiling. They can be attached to the wall, which is what we call a face fix. And it can also be attached to the ceiling, which is what we call in the trade a top fix. So that would depend on where you want the curtains to start from above the window. This system comes in this in a square face and in a half round. So it's a great system. It can have just a normal glide or it can have the space glide and you can use the tape again to sew on to have the set S wave easy stack system okay so there's your choices and, and, and they come in many colors but all what I call natural um, metal colors so uh, browns blacks gold silvers whites so um, it, it, you mostly could have them powder coated um, but I'd say that would also take some time and some expense okay so that's that now the next thing we're going to talk about is rods and rings as we know them now there are two sorts we can have you can have a rod and it has a free form ring like this or you can have a rod and it has a ring but it's got it's set into a channel system and it's a half ring now why this half ring system came about it's because you can move the rings past the brackets which you can't do on a normal ring if there's a bracket here the ring never goes past the bracket so this is a great system when you've got a rod over one meter fifty so one meter fifty two meters fifty you can take this you can also bend this rod you can take this up to I think about five meters um, and you've got the support and the ring goes past so it's wonderful now we showed you curtain headings that look good on rings up there on glides so that's that there so there you are and you can get tiny little rods um, but they've got glides in the bottom of them they can also be for rod pockets if you want a curtain that's just a rod pocket curtain we've got these tiny little rods okay they come in any colors all those natural colors um, the different sorts of colors you can have there are lots now moving on to another area of rods the traditional rod and ring okay now the traditional rod and ring has taken a big revival in the past 10 years but more so in the past three I've noticed and it's all about the the rod talking to the curtain so for example if you were doing a curtain that had a strong color you may do a rod that is a color out of the curtain. So for example, this green or it here, this sort of thing, you make a bit of a statement with the rod. There's this wonderful woman on Instagram. Um, her, her handle is Color Stick. She um, has a great product and paints poles the most amazing colors. So if you really want something amazing, um, Color Stick's the woman to go to. So then my last and final poll is 
um, the metal, handmade, hand forged metal pole and a ring, which is one of the most beautiful um, poles you can get. And if you have that sort of house, if you have that sort of Mediterranean um, or adobe type natural interior and you want a really beautiful pole, then these, these hand forged poles that have what we call the return, that means that the curtain comes around and stacks around the corner, um, these are the deluxe poles of all poles. They can be made in bronze, they can be made in metal, they can be made in um, stainless steel, um, but they are a, a, um, a very expensive but beautiful pole to have. But it is a certain type of interior that would request that. Um, the other area that we could delve into, but we're not going to, to do it at this time, but I might do later, is to look at different pelmets and the way you can hang curtains using pelmets. Um, however, I think that we have enough here just with poles and tracks and that should help you. It might um, sort of open up your knowledge about how to hang your curtains in your home. Thank you.